What's yeah. what's your guys' personal favorites? If you've picked show on the show on the on the the cover or pick one, there's oh, they're all it's exciting. Like Bingo. Yeah, just that's a, that's a tough call because I I, I, don't I yeah like I grew up with the Ghibli films mm-hmm. and. I don't know how many times to watch Kiki's Delivery Service with my twin sister because mm-hmm. she was super crazy about it and I loved it and Gigi's great. Um, but my favorite is definitely Spirited Away. Mm-hmm. Like I watched Mononoke last night for the first time completely. Like I've watched like bits and pieces of it here and there. But um, even though that is like probably like a, a big favorite from everybody usually, um, Spirited Away is just like really special because it it hits that perfect balance of like mysticism with reality. But instead of just having it overlaid, like it takes into an entire another world, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's just kind of fun. I, I love Spirit Away. I think Spirit Away is, is one of the strongest, like in terms of if I had to pick one to keep watching. Yeah. Because uh, it's got like it's got scary stuff and it's got really cute stuff and it's got pleasant stuff and it's kind of like it is. It he does that thing where he draws you into the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, it starts out and you're like, oh, it's a normal kid, and then it's suddenly very much not normal. Uh, I love that Totoro does that too, but it doesn't really. It's still like there are a few magical elements in an otherwise pretty ordinary world. Right. It's very much like, is this a child's imagination? In the case of Spirit Away, it's like, this is very much like a different world. Yeah. Uh, and then you have something like Mononoke or Howl's Moving Castle where it's an entirely magical world. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's sort of less like, I like that it does that transition. Like it kind of draws viewers in. Um, yeah, I think Spirited Away is incredible in the way that it uh, it tackles childhood fears. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she's so relatable because when you first get in, like, Move into a new town. She's not really excited, not mm-hmm. really showing her personality. And then when she gets into this fantastical new world, you see her personality start shining through and her becoming more comfortable with this new area she's in, even though she's not living in the spirit world. But, you know, yeah. you get it's, to see. The, the way that time passes in that movie is really weird, too. Like it, right. It's, you kind of get the sense that you're like, it's it's very like that kind of fairy tale. Like, oh, you're locked away in a tower. Like, it's kind of just, it's, but also when you're a kid, like, time is just slower. So is she there for a week? Is she there for a few days? You know? There's kind of a montage. Yeah, they kind of imply a while because at the very end when they go back to the car, the car is just like full of like like trees and twigs and bushes and stuff stuff like that. Oh, we missed the movers. Mm -hmm. Yep, you missed the movers. You missed (laughs) quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, there's so many elements in there. Like there's that fear of like talking to elders. There's like that fear of like, like the, 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 uh, the grandma, Baba or whatever. Yubaba. Uh, Yubaba is, uh, it's that, that giant face is just, like, so much, like, meeting a scary older relative, you know? But it's cool because, like, she has, you know, spoilers, has a twin sister. Yeah. And uh, it shows, like, that duality of, like, having the good with the bad. Like, mm-hmm. even though she's this one's really scared, this one's really welcoming and, like, very motherly. Yeah. You know, but, I mean, just, like, from a child's perspective, yeah. you know, it's like, exaggerating these parts. I remember I, I watched this in, in college, and I was, it was the first time I watched, I think, really any anime, just very analytically. Mm-hmm. And there are shots in there that, like, there's the shot of walk, walking down that little tiny stairway, it's like that kid's fear of like going down to the basement, but on this massive, just grandiose scale. Mm-hmm. And there's the part where the bathtub overflows. And it's yeah. like, this is stuff that scares you and freaks you out yeah. when you're four years old. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like presenting it in a way that just makes it completely fantastic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of the things, it's also my favorite movie. And I have all sorts of notes on why, because I'm a dumb <laughs> egghead. Anyway. Um, but I think it's not only that sense of fear, but also her bravery is believable. Like you see her visibly freak out over things and you see her like holding her ground, which I think was a big thing because as a child, you constantly had to face your fears like that. Like you had to go in the scary basement and you were so proud when you got out of that situation mm-hmm. in one piece. And Ghibli so- is so good at making all of their characters so expressive. Like just to that yeah. point. Yeah. Like it's amazing. Like their hair just kind of puffs up too. Like, there's that, that, there's that, yeah. 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 Like you, that you see her like just, visibly just yeah. shaking. I, She's like, "Oh my god!" The, the wind rises the and the hair puffs up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the animation's so good. Yeah, um, but I also like the fact that all of his films always have something thematic about the environment and ancient Japanese culture and religion, which Miyazaki is very enthusiastic about bringing back. So a lot of his uh, movies take place in the rural countryside and have a lot of Shinto themes or they have a lot of Heian, Muromachi period type aesthetics, mm-hmm. which I really likes so the bathhouse in mm-hmm. Spirited yeah. Away is very much from that time period and it seems to draw a lot of its inspiration from an ancient scroll called, I wrote it down so I wouldn't have to remember, Choju Giga, which is animal caricatures, which I saw in a museum in Kyoto. There's these ancient scrolls of animals and humans frolicking together and he loves that type of thing. So the aesthetic is always very beautiful and always very tied to nature and environmental stuff like the whole scene with the stinky creature that comes in to take a bath that was a real experience he had cleaning up his local river that was a real story Mm -hmm. about he found a bicycle and he and his friends pulled it out with a rope and that makes it into spirited way he very much 
takes his own experiences and puts them in his movies, and I love that. That's cool. That's and it's super cool. cool. Um, unlike you, Miranda, I didn't really grow up with these films at all. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if I could say that I've seen enough to pick a favorite. You know, like I don't yeah. know that I can. Um, but I, I do love, like I love how excited we all got when you mentioned the hair. Um, because <laughs> the tears because too. that's yeah because that's such such an iconic detail of the animation is even the hair is expressive um, and so that's just one of the things I appreciate most about all of these films is uh, the character design and all of that um, it's really it's special like it makes you I don't know if you've seen a, a, one of the Miyazaki or even just general Ghibli films when you were younger like that is one of the most heartwarming things is to go back to it yeah um, so. Yeah, Max, which is your favorite? That's a tough call. I think I've said on numerous occasions that if I was stuck watching one movie through for the rest of my life, it would probably be Totoro. Like just because it's Aww. entirely there's no resistance. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's just it's relaxing and it's interesting. I don't know about relaxing. Get I mean, rocked, cat bus. That thing <laughs> really? scared the hell I out of me. I love cat bus. Cat bus oh, is that cool. thing is freaky. He's You're a rascal. Crazy. <laughs> no, no, don't. don't give me nightmares. He's great. Oh, now, cat bus is wonderful. He's he's, he's a sweetie pie. Um, but like I just. I love that he doesn't. He doesn't use villains really. Like there are villains that's, in that's some of his stuff. That's the best thing. Like especially yeah. like, you see that with Mononoke. It's like mm-hmm. this. Nobody's really truly evil. Like mm-hmm. everyone has something redeeming about them that they're trying to accomplish, but maybe through more difficult ends or that something that costs someone else. Um, there's really something redeemable about that. Yeah. No, it's like I think it's I think it's fantastic. Yeah. I think it's it's like he's he's g- given interviews and stuff about this and talked about how he doesn't like. Uh, I mean, to paraphrase, but it's like the idea that a, a villain is almost lazy. And it's like, I really respect that. And it's yeah. like, how do you, like you, you know, you can kind of have like, I mean, you have some, you have some stories where it's like somebody fighting against nature or like somebody kind of fighting against a circumstance, mm-hmm. but it's, it's rare that you'll have a, a story that's compelling without be- beating over the head with it. Like Totoro, nothing, nothing really happens. Like it's kind of just about these kids who move in yeah. and then there's like magic Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then like there's like sort of these little these little story beats, but it's like it's not it's not it doesn't drag. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I probably wouldn't show it to like a four year old because they probably would get bored. But like it's it's really watchable. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's, you know, it's like, oh, it's raining. Like that's a that's a scare. Like your your dad is late from work and you're like, well, how do you make that interesting? Well, you have a cat bus. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And like, I mean, it's the fact that I love that Totoro is incredibly cute, but he's not like he's not like cutesy cutesy like it's very much like yeah. an animal yeah like he's still a little menacing sometimes yeah. like he's huge yeah. that's like very scary to like maybe a little he's kid he's got that yeah. Cheshire cat grin on his face oh all yeah. The time yeah. Too. yeah he does yeah. but like I, the, the kids aren't scared of him you know yeah. mm-hmm. like, he, he, he howls and it's like funny you know it's, and mm-hmm. I think it's such a wonderful like it's just this this childlike wonder that's in there um, so I love I love Totoro so much like I I might watch that tonight I don't know it's, it's great <laughs>